So we've talked a lot about long hair on men, but now finally comes the time where I break down the ultimate guide to choosing haircuts that are more medium to shorter length. And look, you're probably thinking, what does this dude with long hair who clearly has stated in the past that he has had long hair for 10 plus years doing giving a breakdown on shorter to medium hairstyles? See, that is exactly where I'm at an advantage because you probably have no idea how many times I have thought about sacrificing my hair to opt for a more shorter hairstyle. And given the time and dedication required to go out here to this length, trust me, I've done a lot of thinking. And what I mean by that is that I've given a lot of thought to the hairstyle I would be willing to get if I were to, let's say, cut off my hair at some point in time. Even though if I'm completely honest that it's purely hypothetical because I know I will always wuss out of cutting my hair because I've grown so attached to it. But nevertheless, I've done quite a lot of extensive research on the topic of what hairstyles are best suitable for different facial structures face shape since that is essentially what it all boils down to. With that said though, let's get into it. Also, before I get started, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out and also make sure to click that notification bell so you do not miss out on any future videos. Three golden rule here, boys, that you need to follow and the most important rule, in my opinion, is to never look at other people and get haircuts based on the fact that they look good in them. You can always take inspiration from it, but always go off of your own personal style and facial type. Because you look at someone like that and think, oh wow, that is a nice haircut and it looks good on him. But I mean, look at that dude, probably anything would look good on him. Us average looking guys don't have that luxury. So the most practical thing, an easy thing you could do is download a haircut app for men and take a few selfies, get a rough idea of what might look good on you and you alone. First up is practicality. Do not choose a hairstyle that requires styling unless you are ready to use some styling products on the daily and be willing to invest some time into it. Don't think you're gonna come out of the barber shop and stay looking fresh like that forever. No matter how good the final look may be, if it required the use of either a hair dryer, hairspray, pomade, or anything of that nature, likelihood is the next day you'll have to go through the exact same process to achieve that look. And you're probably gonna have to spend a whole lot more time than your barber did because, well, it's their job. That's what they're trained to do. We can't all be professionals. But as long as you commit and invest a little time through practice, you should master the art of styling hair regardless of what hairstyle you choose. Next up is flexibility. And what I mean by that is, for example, some haircuts look good on thick hair and less appealing on thin hair strands. Some haircuts emphasize the beauty of curly hair and are not quite suitable for wavy or straight hair and etc. And also priorities since some haircuts can draw attention to scalp problems like dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis. An undercut or a military cut can make these problems a whole lot more noticeable and should preferably be treated prior. Same goes for people suffering from hair loss since some haircuts emphasize the problem while others hide it quite well. At number one, we have the undercut. The undercut is a hairstyle with very short sides and temples combined with long to medium length hair on the top, depending on your preferences, of course. Hair color isn't really an issue. It works with about everything and is ideal for people with wavy and straight hair. Styling is relatively easy and takes roughly 5 to 10 minutes maximum. This works extremely well with oval, oblong, and round face types. And to add a more masculine touch, I would recommend a light stubble or a beard since a lot of people, including myself, who have oval faces, usually lack a strong chin or jawline. This hairstyle paired with a light beard helps balance that out and creates the illusion of stronger, more predominant features. Next up, we have the pompadour. And if you have the extra time and actually enjoy styling your hair, then look no further. Although it is eccentric as hell, you can put in the effort and have the confidence to rock this look, then kudos to you, my friend. This hairstyle has a lot of different variations and it all depends on your hair length primarily. The longer it is, the more voluminous it will appear. Although depending on your preferences, you can cut back a little bit for a more strict and professional look. This works especially well for people who have square faces as the volume up top helps balance out the jaw. Although as a person who is lacking in the jawline department, I do not understand why you would want to as a square jawline is considered one of the most attractive and masculine features 
when it comes to women's preferences. But oddly enough, this hairstyle works well with oval and round faces as well, and styling may take up to anywhere to 15 minutes to 25, so be ready to use a lot of styling products in this one and a lot of time, you have been warned. Next up is the classical cut. Although an old school look indeed, it is still timeless and a sharp professional look that won't let you down. It is easy to maintain as long as you get a regular trim to sharpen up the edges, you're good to go. Styling time is roughly two minutes minutes since all you need is a comb, some gel, pomade or wax depending on your preference. For a more wet and stiff look, use hair gel since this is what they used to do primarily back in the day. But for a more often matte finish, use pomade or hair wax. This style works with every facial shape except one, round faces as it accentuates the roundness even more. But this can also be balanced out with a medium stubble or a beard. Once again, my friends, this is where men shine because a beard is all about creating the illusion of stronger facial features. And if a hairstyle alone can't cut it, then that's where facial hair can come in to balance stuff out and even out the playing field. And finally, we have the side part. This haircut has no imperfections. It is a classical choice for every place and every occasion. You just cannot go wrong with this one. Whole lot of variations to this hairstyle because when it comes to length, when it comes to styling products, primarily you want to go for using good quality pomade. For a more shiny and glossy look, you got to be generous and go all out. For more conservative and matte finish, you gotta remember peeps that less is more. For people with thicker hair, you can leave the sides at the same length, but for someone who's let's say thinning up top, it is best to buzz the sides to create a more thicker illusion on the top. Generally people suffering from male pattern baldness instinctively want to cling to every last bit of hair that they have. But usually it is the hairs on the top that goes first and the thicker hairs on the sides remain. So by having the sides buzzed as short as possible, it will balance everything out and draw attention to the overall look rather than draw attention to the areas that are lacking. This hairstyle works with every face type and it can be modified endlessly to your preferences. And it is easy to maintain in my opinion with a styling time that takes approximately five to 10 minutes. If you need longer than that, then you're probably doing something wrong. But don't worry, practice is key and it's just hair, nothing is set in stone. If you're looking for more information on hair growth, beard care, as well as beard grooming and any other products that might help you achieve these looks, also disclaimer, these are not products that are sponsoring today's video. These are just products that I have personally found that I feel are the best on the market to help you guys achieve these looks. You can check out our website, hairgc.com, for anything and everything hair and beard related. It will be linked in the description box down below. That is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss out on any future videos. And it really helps us out and we greatly appreciate it. My name is Gio and as always, people have an awesome day and I will see you next time.